everybody, this is me and today I'm actually taking Casper Cross Country which is the first time this year even though now it's September so it's a little bit late in the season because I've had A levels and then I've been traveling so we just haven't been able to get out and do any cross country this year so today I think we're going to take it nice and slow it's also quite windy today so I don't know if he's going to be a bit spicy, we'll see or he might be a little bit potato because we're both a bit unfit basically at the moment we'll see how we go, take it nice and small, just gradually do high higher and higher jumps and just see how he goes. I don't want to push him too much because again, we haven't been out cross country for over a year. So we're just gonna go out there, have a little bit of fun. So I'm just getting Casper ready right now. He's got a lovely poo stain on uh, this side of his face. So he's gonna have to have a little bath, just um, sponge off some of the dirty areas and then get everything ready to go, hey? So, what sponge should I use today? <laughs> I've got quite a selection. I think I'm gonna use the kiwi one. Okay, so now Casper has been bathed and is just drying off at the moment. I'm just putting everything into the van and getting it ready. So the first thing I always get ready is his saddle. And I, whenever I get his saddle ready, I always make sure that I've got all the bits attached. So we've got our matching lime green saddle pad. We have our girth, because that's one thing I feel like a lot of people forget. You don't want to forget your girth. I also have my stirrups pre-attached, so they're all ready. And then I also have my little um, clip sort of attachment thing for my air jacket. So yeah, now the saddle's ready, time to put it away. Next I need to get his bridle ready, so here I have it, third at cross country, we just use a loose ring snaffle, single jointed bit because he's a pretty chilled dude, he doesn't really get that strong anymore cross country, so I literally ride him in a snaffle which is nice, uh, so time to put it away. After that I have Casper's cross country boots, so these are his Lemur ones, um, these are his sort of overreach boots, bell boots, whatever you want to call them. So I like to wear these for cross country, just to give him that little added bit of protection. And then here I just have his front boots for cross country, and I also have his back boots. So the reason why cross country boots are so special is because they have little holes in, so when you go through the water, the boots don't get really heavy and weigh your horse's legs down, they actually drain with the little holes, but then they're also really protective as well. Next I have my Skullcap cross country helmet, then I have my little grey hat silk cover as well and by the way the pom pom is faux fur, don't worry. And then also whenever I pack my hat I always pack some gloves. So here I just have my grey gloves, matchy matchy, very basic. Also if you know me, I always wear gloves whenever I ride, I'm just you know, one of those people, I'm a glove person, so got to have my gloves, always stick it in my helmet just so I don't forget them, they don't get lost and easy to put away. So the next thing I need to get ready is my body protectors. So when I'm getting my like the human stuff ready or the rider stuff ready, I always work from the head down. So we've done the helmets, now it's time for the body protectors. So obviously when you're doing cross country, you have to wear a body protector. So here I just have my normal one that I'm going to wear. And then over the top, I also like to wear an air jacket just in case because cross country fences are solid um, and it's a little bit more dangerous than show jumping. So just in case I have this as well. <laughs> And then lastly for the rider, I have my riding boots. They are a little bit dirty. I did clean them last time, but um, Cass was molting at the moment and having a gray, their white hairs literally just cover absolutely everything. So excuse the hairs and now I need to put these in the van. 
So last but not least, I have Casper's sausage boot. And I get a lot of questions about this. So the reason why I use a sausage boot on only one of his hind legs is because when he's cantering along and wearing studs, it just sort of helps him know where his legs are so he doesn't tread on himself. So basically it goes around his hoof and um, it just sort of touches his other hoof so he knows not to get his two back legs too close to each other. And then obviously I have my studs as well, again for safety, just like a footballer wears studs on the football pitch. I wear studs when doing cross country or jumping on grass, just so he doesn't slip and um, he's a little bit more sort of stable and just more comfortable. Um, so in this little box here, I keep my studs just so they don't get lost. And then in this very fashionable pencil case, I actually have um, some cotton wool and some Vaseline that I use to put in the studs afterwards. So then um, basically they don't get filled with mud and are difficult to clean out. I also have a spanner in here and then I have this little metal wire brush to um, clean out the threads so they're all nice and clean and easy to get the studs in. So I need to put these in my grooming box now. Lastly, before we go, I just need to put his travel boots on, then I'll load him up and I'll see you on the cross country course.
Hey, home. <laughs> Are you sweaty from the cross country? Is it bath time? Yeah? Oh, what a good boy. Good boy. Okay, everybody, Casper and I have just got back from doing our cross country and we both had an absolute blast. To be honest, I was a little bit nervous when we first got there because I haven't been cross country with Casper for over a year. So I wasn't sure what he was gonna be like. He was actually pretty spicy when we first arrived. He was just wanting to canter, wanting to get there, do it. He was taking to me, me to all of the fences, which was so nice because I actually felt like I had a little bit of horse underneath me rather than having to push him to the fences. He was really taking me. Um, we just had a few little stops at the beginning, mainly my fault because we he got a bit long but then I just pulled him up a bit too much and it was just a little bit messy to start with um, but he was so honest with a lot of the fences that we got in quite deep to and he just leaped over so I was so pleased with that. Being a little pony wony and just going and just loving life and I think this fella is now ready to have a bit of a wash down because he's a little bit sweaty and we also need to take his travel boots off as well. So time to get him all nice and comfortable and obviously he needs lots of treats. Hey, good lad. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a good boy. What a good lad. Hey, was that fun? Come on, then. Off we pop. He's gonna go and roll. 